and with bushwalk returning to the safety of camp we might have to do the same in the not too distant future so we're only going to get unfortunately to spend a very short time with Tingana you can hear the thunder maybe you can't I can hear the thunder rumbling and starting to get closer and closer so we can't spend too long here but definitely worth the rush all the way to Cheetah Plains so that we could spend a little bit of time with him looks to me like Tingana I still haven't seen his face properly but it certainly looks like him and just uh, judging by the size as well absolutely massively powerful head and shoulders uh, interestingly enough I was chatting to one of the other guides who said that they feel as though Tingana's just ballooned in size that he's just got so much larger over the last few weeks I don't quite know what that would have been perhaps he's just eating well Perhaps he's been enjoying a couple of very good meals. Either way, he has walked so far from the start of our sunrise safari before the bushwalk backpack stopped working. We tracked him all the way through Juma, all the way along the northern boundary, and now into Cheetah Plains. That is probably a distance of around about, I don't know, give or take 10, 10 miles. He has marched. I have absolutely no idea why, presumably patrolling his territory, but it's astounding that he's done it all in one go. How's it, Steph? How are you? Good, thanks. Okay. And welcome to Cedar Point. Cedar Point, no, Tingana's not Karula's son. As much as this entire area is dotted with Karula's offspring, Tingana is not one of them. He is the dominant male leopard of this particular area and most of our Traverse area. And he has he's the most likely father of Karula's cubs. So he is roughly, how old is he, how old is he now? Ten. He must be about ten years old now. And he is absolutely massive. He came in when he initially moved into this area as the dominant male he was given the name Tingana because he was actually very shy and since then he has become more and more comfortable around vehicles to the point that we can sit with him in the way that we are doing now and he's completely relaxed with our presence in fact of all of our leopards I would say that Tingana is the most relaxed around the vehicles Tingana and Hosanna and Shungile are the leopards that are the most comfortable with us so no, he is not Karula's son, he is Karula's paramour, would that be a suitable description of him? He, either way, he has mated with Karula in the past and probably sired her cubs, potentially sired Tundi's cub, Tumba, as well as Shadow's new little cub as well. So he has, in a way, also filled the area with his progeny. Karula's son Quarantine often spends a lot of time around this area, although apparently he's recently been chased around a little bit, so I'm not quite sure where he's ended up. He's often been on Cheetah Plains. And this is really about as far east as Tingana will go. You can never have absolutes with leopards, but this is pretty much the furthest east that his territory extends, and we don't often see him beyond this point. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen him this far east. Oh, there's a hyena. Hello, hyena. There's a hyena. Oh, it's just disappeared behind the vehicle. Hold on, it might come around in front now. It's only the second hyena I've ever seen on Cheetah Plains. There, he's seen it. You can stay on the leopard for now. I'll tell you when the hyena comes back. Oh, it looks like quite a young hyena. I don't think it's going to be tangling with Mr. T. Not if it values its physical um, entirety. Where has it gone? It might walk around in front. He is not at all bothered. Now, sometimes hyenas will gather together and chase a leopard up a tree, but Tingana, being the massive male leopard that he is, he could, there we go, here it comes, here comes the hyena, you got it, yeah, let's go into the hyena, go wide, okay, there's the hyena, he's going to pop through, 
Alright, now go wide, just in case he does decide to chase him. There we go. Look at this. Look at the proximity of these two. Does this hyena realise how close he is? Must do. It's not uncommon to see hyenas and leopards close together. And generally speaking, they ignore each other. Uh, just stay wide, Senzo, because his ears are flat. Keep him in shot. There we go. Just a warning growl from Tingana. <laughs> Here we go. A brief interaction between our two largest spotted predators. The hyena and this big male leopard very closely matched, but that hyena wasn't foolish enough to take on Tingana today. And I don't know if you could hear that deep grr that he gave in a snarl and a little bit of a jump forward. That was awesome. Not often you see them fighting though. It's unusual. Neither of them really want to injure themselves or run the risk of injury. So chances are most of the time when they come into proximity like that, they look at each other, glance at each other, and then wander away. And that hyena knew that he was here and was just coming to have a look and see whether or not he had a kill worth attempting to steal. Very cool. Guys, we've got to go. Um, Rebecca, I don't know if I still have comms or not. Do I? I do have comms. Marvellous. I've got to go, everybody. I've got to get home, otherwise we're going to get caught in the storm. So while we race off home, let's send you back over to James.